Right. I this is so key for me because yeah. in my experience, I'm going to talk about salary. All right. So big topic. Yeah. Massive topic. The reason why I think it is is because I think this is the biggest part of, in my experience, and probably you guys yeah. will hopefully agree. Talking to candidates, they are very apprehensive to you know discuss salary. Maybe on that first call or that first sort of dialogue that we have with them, where don't get me wrong recruitment industry there's good eggs there's bad eggs so there'll be people that are asking for salary for maybe not the best reasons and there'll be people like hopefully everyone here and obviously how we all work for reasons that are going to benefit you and realistically only you at the end of the process so Mm -hmm. let's put it this way I've, i've had instances where i'll ask a candidate at the beginning of the first call or like i say dialogue that i have with them what sort of salary are you looking for in your next move or in your next position that you know you interview for and i find that you know <laughs> it can go down either like a lead balloon <laughs> yeah. oh i don't want to talk about salary yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. why are you asking me that uh, you only want to know for, for this and that reason look there is in cases where people feel like you're asking for that salary to nail them down there and then that's the salary you said you want that's the salary you're going to get not at all so there's so many reasons why we ask what sort of salary you're going to expect in that early first call one is to get an idea of you know that it's an important thing people need to make sure that their salary expectations are in line with the position that they're they're obviously going to going to be applying for or interviewing for um, and two in in regards to knowing your expectations of salary it helps us you know manage again that process and helps us you know fight your corner when it comes to either look this is an attainable salary with this company so let's go for it or you know at that point we can say look probably not going to be the best sort of business to to go ahead yeah. with and, and sort of go down that route of yeah. doing the whole process doing the meetings and then getting to that stage and it's a tough one to sort of um sort of uh, come to an agreement on so for me if you're asked by a recruiter what salary you're expecting or what are you earning right now it, from our side it's good intentions we want to make yeah. sure one we can get you a competitive salary that either matches or or, or betters in, in, in all cases what you're on at that, that time and two it's to generally most of my clients that i work with in oslo they want to know what the candidate's yeah. expectation is from the yeah. off. They're not really willing to, to spend time doing an interview process without knowing at least there or thereabouts what sort of figures we're going to be talking about. So that would be my first bit of advice is look, if, if you've got a good relationship with the recruiter and you feel comfortable, because obviously, look, there's cases where people don't feel comfortable talking about it. But if you're asked that question, it's always going to benefit you to be you know, upfront, honest, and just just help us out because it, it's going to help you out in the long run. And at the end of the day, we're here to, of course, work within a client's budget, but also help you guys out. So in knowing that what your expectations are, we can you know we can help push that in regards to the client knowing what they're going to yeah. have to do at the yeah. end. Of the-